Welcome to today's stretch. I missed you last week. I went and had knee surgery, so I was unable to perform a stretching routine for you, but we're back to our weekly stretching videos. But we're gonna start here sitting on our bottom and we're gonna kind of warm up our back. I've been told often lately that people have trouble warming up their back. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna sit with your back super tall. You're gonna open your arms out wide and then you're gonna contract your spine forward as if someone came and punched you in the tummy. You're carving out that stomach and then you're gonna bring it all the way back up and sit as tall as you possibly can. And then we're gonna do that again. Contract it in and around the back and then do the opposite. Open it up and out. One more time, contract that spine in and then open it up and out. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen as much as you can. Now let's take those arms up over our head and we're just gonna reach it on forward over those toes. So let gravity do its thing. Get to a point where you feel a little bit of discomfort but you're not in crazy pain. And then I also want you to think about lengthening through your spine, especially for those of you who are already at least, you know, able to touch your ankles, your toes, maybe. Think about lengthening as you reach forward. That length in your spine is going to intensify the stretch. So we're reaching forward over those toes. We're gonna hold each stretch as usual for 30 seconds. I'm keeping tabs on the time for you. Make sure that you're breathing nice and deeply throughout all of these stretches. Toby's trying to eat my plant basket and I don't want him to do that. Alrighty, let's roll it on up. We're gonna do another hamstring stretch, but we're gonna do one leg at a time. So we are going to lay down onto our back fully. You're gonna straighten both legs out. Now, make sure you keep your left hip pressed into the floor, and then I want you to bring your right leg in and grab onto that leg. Either grab behind the thigh or behind the calf or ankle. Don't grab behind your knee. And then just gently, gently pull that in towards you as close as you can while keeping that left leg pressed into the floor. Straighten through that leg as much as you can. Well, both legs actually. slowly release that leg all the way down and bring up your left leg. Same thing on this side. Both hips pressing into the floor. Pull that left leg in toward you. If you've noticed any imbalances, maybe your left isn't as flexible as the right, that doesn't mean to yank on your left or do your left stretch more often. It just means to make sure that you continue to try and stretch regularly to eventually balance those two things out, those two things, those two legs out. Okay, and relax. Let's move into some little hippie hip stretches. So we're gonna have to sit all the way up, however you wanna get up. All right, we're gonna do one of my faves, a lunge. Let's go to a runner's lunge. Taking my right leg out in front, bending it to a 90 degree angle, straightening the back leg. We're gonna combine this with a little bit of a back stretch as well. So you're gonna open your right arm up toward the sky, stretch it up as high as you can, really lengthen through that back leg as well as your right arm, all the way up through your fingertips. As if someone is grabbing onto your middle finger, pulling it up toward the ceiling. Also make sure your neck isn't doing anything weird. You can look up toward that hand or just let your head be in line with the spine and the rest of your neck. This stretch feels so good.
Beautiful. Release that arm down to the floor. And now we're gonna switch over. So we have the left leg in front. I'm gonna go through a plank. You can get there however you want. Have my left leg in front now. So guess what? The left arm is going to reach up toward the sky. I'm pressing away from the floor with that right hand. I'm stretching through my right leg. I'm squeezing my glutes to make sure that I'm stretching my hip flexors. And then I'm reaching my left fingertips as high as I can up toward the sky. So many things to think about. Make sure that you are breathing, sending oxygen to your muscles. All right, bring that hand back down to the floor. I'm gonna take it through a plank again, and now I'm just gonna release all the way down to the floor. We're gonna let our back stretch out a little bit. So we're gonna do a little cobra here. Pressing up. You can walk your hands in closer or further away from your body, depending on how intense you want to make the stretch. And again, lengthening the crown of your head up toward the ceiling, pressing your shoulder blades down toward the floor. Hands are spread nice and wide. Those fingertips are pressing into the floor, pressing away. You can really make your stretches super active and doing that can actually help lengthen the muscles that you're trying to stretch, so with the opposition. All right, slowly lower yourself down. Let's do the opposite of this. Let's take it into a little bit of a child's pose. Not a little bit of one, but a child's pose. So sit those hips all the way back as far as you can. Reach those arms out in front of you nice and long. Just let that, let your body relax into the floor. Feel like you're melting into the floor. Beautiful. Let us come up to our hands and knees. We're gonna do a little thread the needle action here. You're gonna take your left arm. You're gonna reach it underneath your right arm, thread it under, and then let your left ear fall to the floor. You can readjust as you need to, but you should be feeling a stretch in your back, your upper back, or kind of the sides of your back, your lat muscles. Latissimus dorsi is the official name. Slowly release. We're gonna repeat on the right side. So take your right arm, thread it under the left. Let your right arm fall to the floor. Wiggle around however you need to, to fill that stretch. Even if that means you kind of have to like push your weight further into the right side, if that's what feels good, do it. That's what I'm doing now. I'm like really leaning into my right shoulder. Okay, bring it back up to hands and knees. We are not done with our hips. But another thing that I want to focus on today is our inner thigh muscles. I feel like we've been neglecting them here recently. So let's pull it up into a downward dog first. This is not going to work our inner thighs muscles, but this is just our transition. Here in a downward dog, let's walk our feet up. And I want you to turn your body if you need to. I need to. And then we're going to go into this wide forward fold. So my feet are further than hip width distance apart. And I'm just sinking forward and down. From here, if you kind of want to rock side to side slowly, you can. You can grab onto your ankles and pull yourself. This is also not really gonna do your, get your inner thighs, but actually we'll get kind of the outsides of your legs. So we're gonna try a little twist here. Um, I want you to walk your hands over to the left side if you can. And then you can stay here or you could add to it and you can reach your left arm up to the ceiling. This one again will get you a little back stretch. And you should feel it on the outside of that leg. I have a dog here trying to eat me. Can you stop, sir?
Okay, let's take it to the right side. I love this stretch, it feels so good. So walk your hands all the way over to the right side. If you can, grab onto your ankle. You can hold there, or you can take that right arm up toward the sky. If you do feel this a little bit in your inner thigh muscles, that's okay, there's nothing wrong. I feel like I said that a little bit weird earlier. It's not that this doesn't stretch those muscles, it's that it's not like the primary focus. But we're gonna get there in a little bit. Okay, another one we haven't done in a while. <laughs> I used to do this one in like every stretching video, but you're gonna take a bend into that left leg and sit into it. This one will get your inner thigh muscles though. Good, so your goal here is to just sink down and to keep that right leg straight, keeping your left heel on the floor. If this is too much for you, you could put your hands on some blocks so that you're sitting up higher. This used to be one of my favorite stretches. I feel like I never do it anymore. Let's stretch it over on the right. I'm sorry, switch it over to the right. It's been a long day. Okay, we're gonna sit it down and we're not quite done with our inner thighs yet. I'm gonna scoop my mat over just so that I'm at a better <laughs> position to do this and it not be super weird. I want you to lay on your back again. We're just gonna open our legs out wide. So if you've done like a happy baby pose, you could do happy baby. This is level one where you have your knees bent and you're grabbing onto your big toes or you could grab onto your ankles. Now level two is we straighten those legs out and you could do hands or no hands. You could just let gravity do its thing or you could very lightly place those hands around your calf muscles and just let your legs open up and then just relax. Let gravity do its thing. I like to just focus on other stuff and stretches like this that feel like pretty uncomfortable for me. Like I'll think about how my back feels, like press my back into the floor fully. Think about my neck, like relaxing my neck. I think about breathing, whatever I can do to sort of get my mind off of the tense feelings I have. But then I also am trying to relax those inner thigh muscles. I'm not like squeezing them super hard or anything. Just relaxing. I am still trying to keep my legs straight, but relaxing at the same time. Easier said than done. We're almost there. Keep holding. All right, kinda hard to get out of this one. If you wanna use your hands for assistance, you can. We're gonna release out of that. Now we gotta do one more hip stretch. So we only did that lunge earlier. So let's go ahead and sit ourselves up. We also gotta do some glute stretching. So why don't we take care of both by doing a pigeon pose. So I'm gonna bend my right leg in front so that it's as close to parallel to my mat as I can. And then I'm straightening my left leg out behind me. You can sit up like this nicely, however it feels good for you. Or you can go into sleeping pigeon. If I'm sounding a little bit disoriented right now, it is because it's time for Mr. Toby, my, my beagle that you saw earlier, to go outside and he's walking around everywhere doing weird things. So I'm trying to like keep an eye on him <laughs> as we stretch. He finally just laid down just because I said that. Okay, so we're good now. I'll be more focused. That's the fun part about stretching at home, making videos at home. Do you have pets? 
that interfere with your training at home, please let me know. I hope I'm not the only one who has a crazy dog that jumps in the middle of everything. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And remember, again, if you have any requests for stretching, please put them in the comments. Because I do read the comments. If you saw my last video, I incorporated some middle splits because someone asked for middle splits. I am here for you. Okay. Let us switch to the other side. Yay. It's going by so fast, huh? Sometimes I also, I don't know, I just get bored of what I think you guys want to see. <laughs> like, it, I get bored of, of creating stretches that are just like based on my own brain. Like, I want to know what you guys want. It makes it more fun for me. I'm going to go to my elbows. <laughs> fast today. Okay, we're gonna do another glute stretch. We are going to, let's try this. You're going to do a little crisscross applesauce. Right leg goes over the left and reach it forward. You could be here or you could stack it over. I'm gonna stack it. I'm a stacker. Are you a stacker? Try and think about both of your hip bones pulling down to the, toward the floor. Like you have those weights, not those weights. What does that mean? I mean, have you ever seen like a grandfather clock that has the big arm pendulum situation? Think about having two of those attached into your hips and they are pulling you down toward the floor. Maybe a weird analogy. Okay, switcheroo. Left leg in front now. In front and crossed or stacked. Whatever you prefer. Reach it over. out of that one. All right, at this point, we're gonna need to stand up and you're gonna need a bit of a wall. Not a bit of a wall, but a wall. Um, let's start with just reaching behind us. You don't need a wall for this one yet, but you're gonna try and grab your fingertips here. So get as close as you can without trying to force it. If this feels crazy, then just take your right arm elbow over your head and pull down on that elbow and you'll get a good stretch in your tricep. It'll be like this. But if you can do both, try and get this bind here and bring your left arm under. Try and touch those fingertips or maybe grab fingertips. This is a pretty intense one. other side taking my left arm back all right arms coming up to meet it this one might need a little help 
There we go. I have a little bit of an imbalance. release release we're gonna open our chest muscles a little bit here so standing up my wall is beside me I'm gonna put my arm here and then I'm just gonna press away from it so I'm going like this I don't know how I can angle myself so that you can tell what I'm doing but basically you just want to pull away from the wall to a point where you're feeling that stretch in your forearm and in your chest I really feel it in my forearm as well Ooh, feels good though breathing okay now same thing on the other side taking my left hand and then pushing away from the wall here make sure that you still try and pull your shoulders down away from the floor or toward the floor sorry Beautiful. This could be the end of the stretch for you, but if you wanna move on to the advanced portion, we're gonna do middle splits and then right and left splits. So decide what you're gonna do, if you're gonna stay or you're gonna go. I would love it if you stayed, but I get it if you don't wanna do your splits. We're gonna start with the middle. So starting in a nice wide stance, placing my hands on the floor, and then I'm just lowering as far as I can. And I'm gonna check the time so that we do 30 seconds. All right, sink down. Warmed up those inner thighs earlier, so this shouldn't feel as bad. Make sure that your legs are in line with your hips, that you're not cheating it by letting your hips rock forward. Should be making one nice straight line. to the right split. I'm gonna start up on my knees. Well, on one knee, one leg straight, left leg bent, and then I'm just gonna straighten out into it. All right, 30 seconds. release and over to the left Let's see how my left is doing after the surgery probably not great it's my first time stretching since my operation proud of you. Thank you so much for joining me for the stretch routine today. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up, share it with someone else who you think needs to do some stretching and would enjoy this video. As always, leave your comments, suggestions, feedback, questions in the comments and have a great rest of your day. Hope to have you back for my next video. Bye!